Okay, I love the GoPro, I really do. But how is it able to take video practically anywhere? Yet a little bit of sunlight causes it to overheat? Yeah, well unfortunately that's what happened. So I had to switch to my phone, which takes at least a decent video. Anyway, that's why the footage here is going to switch between the two. Anyway, let's get tasty. Now for those who don't know, the mobile food rodeo started back in 2012, when it was maybe 10 or 12 food trucks in a parking lot, the weather wasn't so hot, and there really weren't that many, very many people. But it's come a hell of a sensation, and now they have events probably every few months, and in honor of Cinco de Mayo, they've got other probably close to 30 trucks in Fremont Farmer's Market, where every truck is serving their own unique twist on a taco. So the first truck I stumbled upon was Nosh, whose claim to fame is the best fish and chips. While I may not necessarily agree with that statement, I have to say, their taco was pretty good. It obviously had their beer matter and fish and chips, a nice kind of rebel on tartar deal going on, and a, a nice, light, refreshing som tum. And the, my only two complaints about this were A, just on the verge of having too much accoutrements, if you will. And when there's too much stuff on the taco, A, it sogs out anything crispy, which this had. And the second being, the tortilla was nothing more than a mission tortilla that you would buy at a store. And while things started off really good, I really enjoyed this taco. The next two tacos I had were not good at all. The first one being from the guy box box truck. Now it said crispy chicken taco, so I figured deep fried, maybe Korean or Vietnamese flavored. No, it was chicken chopped up on a crispy tortilla or basically a tortilla chip, and then with a fish sauce sort of seasoning. So yeah, the flavor was all right, but it was not a taco, and it was not fun to eat. And immediately after that. I had another disappointment, which might have, well, I won't say worse, but from the off the res truck, which was obviously Native American, I got the chicken taco. And instead of a tortilla, they did it on a fry bread, which was the only redeeming factor of this. Um, and I'm looking at this, you know, taco, quote unquote, and I'm like, where the fuck is the chicken? And I'm digging through it. And once I get to it, even after I try it, the flavor is just really off-putting. That being said, I didn't end up finishing it, but I did enjoy the fry bread. Luckily, right after that, I had what I'm going to say was the most unique taco I had all day, from the branded Circus's truck. In fact, all the tacos they were offering were pretty unique. They had a lamb and curry, a monkfish, and the one I tried, octopus and kimchi. And while, yes, the octopus wasn't incredibly tender, I wasn't chewing it all day, and kimchi was a little weak as well, but I'll let it slide. The next taco I had, well, not a taco here, but a bow from the chopstick truck. It was a steamed bun, crispy pork belly, it was not only crispy on the outside, but real nice and tender, with a good amount of heat. And cilantro. And my only downside to this was the goddamn cilantro. And to you unfortunate souls that have a genetic disorder, I'm sorry. But to the people who made this, learn how to use a goddamn knife. So my next taco was from the Athena truck. Greek, obviously. And what else do they do? A Euro taco, yeah, it might sound, you know, not very creative, but the simplicity here is what made it good. There wasn't too much of anything, and that's why I might say it was probably the best I had all day, just because there weren't two tortillas, which I hate, there wasn't too much of anything, and everything was flavored really well. Personally, I might have liked a little more cucumber, but that's just me. Continuing on down, 
<coughs> I made it to Bob Infusion, which was making a Bibimbap taco, which got me really excited. And they had a choice between sweet beef or spicy pork. So you know I'm going with the spicy pork. And I have to say, while well, this taco may have had my flame favorite flavor all day, way too much stuff, way too much cucumbers and carrots, like, I definitely had to pick up a good amount. Sure, I ended up eating them, unlike the Off the Rest taco, but, like, you just can't pick up that much stuff. <clears throat> and finally, wanting to end things on a high note, I noticed the Buddha Buddha truck, who clearly stated they were the winners of 2015's Mobile Food and Rodeo. So I said, well, I can't be mad, right? And that was absolutely true. So I went with their Al Pastor taco. But rather than going Latin, it was very Hawaiian, with kind of a luau thing. And the only complaint I had about this was that I was just on the verge of having too much stuff. And that's where we're going to shut her down today. So until the next rodeo, stay hungry.